Cecilia Cass, an optics scientist, finds herself trapped in an abusive relationship with her husband, Adrian Griffin, who is fiendish and violent. With the aid of her sister Emily, Cecilia manages to escape from him in the dead of night. Before fleeing, Cecilia drugs Adrian with diazepam, but in the commotion of their escape, their dog is set free, triggering the car's alarm and awakening an enraged Adrian who gives chase. Unfortunately, in the rush to escape, Cecilia accidentally leaves the bottle of drugs behind, which Adrian discovers lying in the road. Welcome to Movies Recapped. Short, sweet, and to the point. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. After two weeks of hiding, Cecilia takes refuge at the home of her close friend James Lanier and his teenage daughter Sydney. Fearful of leaving the house, Cecilia remains a recluse and becomes anxious when her sister Emily comes to visit, believing that Adrian may still pose a threat. However, Emily brings news that Adrian has taken his own life. To her surprise, Tom, Adrian's brother, bequeaths Adrian's fortune and estate to Cecilia, but she accepts it only to pay for Sydney's college education and support James' household. Despite this windfall, Cecilia is plagued by a nagging feeling that she is being watched, and she begins to experience strange occurrences at night. One night, while sleeping next to Sydney, Cecilia wakes up to find the comforter slowly being pulled off the bed, accompanied by strange flashes of light. She becomes suspicious of the blankets at the foot of the bed, but when she tries to retrieve them, they refuse to move. Her reaction awakens both Sydney and James, but Cecilia is unable to articulate what she believes she has seen. Cecilia attends a job interview for an architect's position and prepares to show her work, only to discover that her portfolio is missing. Overcome with distress, she faints and is rushed to the hospital, where she learns that she was drugged with diazepam. Later, when Cecilia returns home, she stumbles upon the bottle of diazepam that Adrian had uncovered. Fearing for her safety, she turns to her sister Emily for support, but Emily is unresponsive and upset, having received a hateful email from Cecilia's account. Upon checking her email, Cecilia discovers the sent message and has a mental breakdown. During this time, Sydney attempts to comfort her but is attacked by an invisible force, causing her to suspect that Cecilia is responsible. James decides to take Sydney to a safer place. Meanwhile, Cecilia searches the house and discovers her work in the attic crawl space, along with a large kitchen knife belonging to James and several photos of her sleeping, which were taken by an unseen stalker. As Cecilia continues to investigate the strange occurrences in her home, she becomes increasingly aware that she is not alone. When she senses movement, she dumps a bucket of paint on the ladder and reveals a man's silhouette wearing a strange suit. The man quickly escapes and washes off the paint, but Cecilia manages to break free from his grasp and flee the house. She calls a lift and asks to be taken to Adrian's house. Once there, Cecilia sneaks into her late husband's laboratory and discovers a state-of-the-art suit that can render the wearer invisible. She takes the suit and hides it, but is then attacked by the invisible man thankfully. Her dog returns and intervenes, buying Cecilia time to escape. Cecilia arranges to meet with her sister Emily at a restaurant to apologize and express her love. They begin to reconcile as Cecilia explains her discovery of an invisible suit at Adrian's laboratory. However, their conversation is abruptly cut short when a large knife is dragged across Emily's throat, killing her. The knife is then placed in Cecilia's hand, leading to her arrest and transfer to a mental institution. Doubting her own sanity and grappling with the revelation that she is pregnant with Adrian's child, Cecilia succumbs to despair. However, she is then visited by Tom, who confesses that he was in league with his late brother all along. Tom gives Cecilia an ultimatum, return to Adrian with their child or lose her claim to the inheritance and remain institutionalized permanently. Refusing to comply, Cecilia steals one of Tom's pins as he departs. Despondent and alone in her room, Cecilia contemplates taking her own life by using Tom's pin to slash her wrists. However, the invisible man intervenes and stops her. In a desperate attempt to fight back, Cecilia uses herself as bait to lure him out of hiding and stabs him twice with the pin, causing his suit to malfunction and glitch. When a security guard enters the room to intervene, the invisible man brutally beats him down. Cecilia rushes into the hallway, where she is confronted by multiple security guards who also witness the glitching figure. The invisible man easily overpowers them and escapes into the stormy night. Despite this setback, Cecilia is determined to track him down, but he overpowers her and delivers a chilling threat. He will now set his sights on Sydney. Cecilia urgently warns James of the danger and he hurries home to find an invisible figure attacking his daughter. 
Despite his valiant efforts to intervene, James is brutally beaten in front of his terrified daughter. Cecilia bursts into the room and sprays the figure with a fire extinguisher, revealing his shape before unloading on him with a fallen officer's pistol. The invisible man falls to the ground and dies from his wounds. Cecilia unmasks him, revealing him to be Tom. Meanwhile, Adrian is discovered tied up and walled off in his own house when a SWAT team storms the premises. James explains that the evidence indicates that Tom had manipulated his brother into getting to Cecilia, but she remains convinced that Adrian and Tom were in cahoots and that Adrian had set it up so that Tom would take the blame in case things went wrong. Still reeling from the recent events, Cecilia arranges to meet with Adrian over dinner. Unbeknownst to him, Cecilia is wearing a listening device, hoping to obtain a confession with the help of James, who is positioned outside the property. During their conversation, Cecilia confronts Adrian about stalking her, and although he denies it at first, he eventually implies that he was indeed preying upon her. As Cecilia excuses herself to go to the bathroom, Adrian begins to realize that something is amiss. Suddenly, his head is jerked back and his throat is slashed, causing him to collapse to the ground and bleed to death. Cecilia enters the room, pretending to be shocked, before calling the police and reporting an apparent suicide in a panic-stricken tone. In reality, Cecilia had used Adrian's invisible suit to kill him and gloats over his dying body. James rushes in and finds Cecilia attempting to escape with Adrian's suit and dog. Despite discovering that she had planned to murder Adrian all along, James lets her go. Cecilia disappears into the night, potentially with the intention of stealing her late husband's work for her own gain.